Canberra actually has 23 cultural and collecting institutions. So from that broad range of history, museums, social science museums, art galleries, libraries, archives, to botanic gardens, to our national parks, these are all considered to be museums. So it's quite a diverse area. In addition to you know, understanding policy and practice, it's important to understand what the consequences of that practice is. How does it impact on people's lives and their sense of well-being? And so we aim to produce students who have a critical understanding of that process and, and can make a, a positive contribution to the development of cultural policy and cultural practices in Australian society. Also the other areas when students can work in museums, they can get jobs in exhibition design, they can get uh, jobs just researching for a museum as well as uh, registration, bringing objects into the uh, museum or in the curatorial area. And cultural and environmental heritage deals um, primarily with the management of cultural expressions outside of institutions. So it, it explores the management and protection and interpretation of historic buildings, Aboriginal sites, alongside of a suite of what we might call intangible heritage, that is the um, the heritage of not just such things as, as dance and music and art, but also people's memories, their understandings of sense and sense of place and belonging. What's unique about an ANU student is, I think, a sense of passion. I mean, it's one of the things that we aim at producing in our students is a passion for the topics that they're exploring. What can, what can be done to further ideas and to, to, to further policy and practice? Thank you.